Hello guys, I hope you all are fine. In this video, I will discuss about the umbilical cord prolapse. So this is a very important topic from the examination point of view. What is umbilical cord prolapse? The meaning of prolapse here is coming down or slipping forward. So it is clear from the name that umbilical cord is come downward or slipped forward at the lower uterine segment below the presenting part that is umbilical cord prolapse so first of all its definition umbilical cord prolapse is a condition in which the umbilical cord descends means moves downwards or coming down alongside or below the presenting part so here they suggest two conditions that the umbilical cord may lies along with the presenting part or below the presenting part so here is a diagram in which the umbilical cord is present along with the presenting part or by the side of presenting part that is known as occult prolapse also known as hidden prolapse so here i wrote umbilical cord descends and present by the side of presenting part on the other hand side with the further descent of umbilical cord when the umbilical cord lies below the presenting part that is presenting part which is head this is umbilical cord in the orange color when the umbilical cord is present below the presenting part that is known as overt prolapse so here i wrote umbilical cord presents below the presenting part next is cord presentation which is also known as funic presentation funic presentation which is also known as cord presentation so in this the umbilical cord present between the presenting part and cervix with or without the rupture of membrane so in this condition in this type the umbilical cord is present between the presenting part and the cervix plus with or without the rupture of membranes means in this type the membranes ruptured or maybe not so usually not next is cord prolapse or complete cord prolapse in this umbilical cord is present inside the vagina or outside the vulva in this case the umbilical cord is visible from outside with the rupture of membrane so in this in this type the membranes ruptured so sometime in the examination they may ask for the difference between the cord presentation and the cord prolapse or the complete cord prolapse so the main difference is the position of umbilical cord in this the position is between the the umbilical cord is lying between the presenting part and the cervix and in this the umbilical cord is lying inside the vagina or outside the vulva and the second difference is the status of membranes in this the membranes may be ruptured or may it may be intact so in cord prolapse or in the complete cord prolapse the membranes ruptured so i hope you all are cleared with these four types cord presentation cord prolapse or complete cord prolapse occult prolapse and the avert prolapse next is the incidence of cord prolapse incidence means the chances of cord prolapse it is one ratio 300 births that is among 300 births there is a chances of only one with the cord prolapse multiparity 
means the chances or the incidence of cord prolapse is more among the multiparous women the woman who is pregnant for more than one time and nowadays the incidence is incidence of cord prolapse is decreased why it is decreased because nowadays there is a increase in cesarean sections in the case of mal presentations so mal presentations are the common cause for the cord prolapse so in the case of mal presentations nowadays cesarean section is done to avoid any kind of complications during vaginal delivery so because of the increase in cesarean section in the case of mal presentation there is a decrease in the incidence of cord prolapse next is the etiology etiology or the causes for cord prolapse these are the causes or these are the factors which affects the proper adaptation of presenting part into the lower uterine segment factors which affect proper adaptation of presenting part into the lower uterine segment lower uterine segment so if the presenting part is not properly fit in the lower uterine segment that leads to cord prolapse so what are the factors which affects the proper adaptation of presenting part first one is mal presentation so under mal presentation the transverse presentation or the transverse lie of the fetus it contribute 5 to 10% next is breech presentation next one is unstable lie when the lie of the fetus is changes this is a diagram of breech presentation so here you can see there are enough space available at the lower uterine segment so because of this vacant space in the lower uterine segment in the case of breech presentation the umbilical cord easily slips down and lying below the presenting part so because of the enough space available at the lower uterine segment it leads to the cord prolapse next is contracted pelvis so in the case of contracted pelvis when there is a when the pelvis is contracted there are the ch more chances of mal presentations so because of the mal presentations the presenting part is not well fit in the lower uterine segment because of which the cord prolapse occurs next is prematurity so in the case of prematurity there are two possibilities in the case of prematurity the size of the fetus is less and the amniotic fluid is more inside the uterine cavity so which allows the more kicking movements so which allows the more movements or due to this excess excessive movements inside the uterine cavity there is a chances of mal presentations so which in result causes the cord prolapse and the second possibility in the case of or the second hypothesis in the case of prematurity is that the size of fetus is less so the more space inside the cavity is available more space is available inside the uterine cavity because of which the umbilical cord easily slips downward which leads to cord prolapse next is twins so in the cases of twins whether it is a vertex in the both babies there is a vertex presentation but still if the first baby is born with the normal vaginal delivery there is a chances of cord prolapse in the case of second baby next is hydromenius 
means the increased amniotic fluid in the uterine cavity more than normal actually so if the amniotic fluid is more then it allows the more kicking movement more than excessive sorry more than normal movements inside the uterine cavities which leads to malpresentation as a result called a prolapse next is the placental factors placental under placental factor minor degree of placenta previa with marginal attachment placenta previa is a condition when the umbilical cord sorry placenta is attached at the lower uterine segment placenta is attached at the lower uterine segment which covers the cervix so this is a minor degree of placenta previa in this the placenta is attached like this means partially cover the partially cover the cervix plus there is a marginal attachment of umbilical cord for example this is a placenta and the umbilical cord is attached at the margins so sometimes in the cases of long cord or the long umbilical cord there are the chances of cord prolapse next is low rupture of membranes or in the case of premature rupture of membranes in this the station of head is high and there is no engagement of head takes place but the membranes rupture that is known as premature rupture of membranes so in that case with the uterine contractions no descent of head takes place because of various causes or because of various factors so no descent no engagement but the chances of umbilical cords slipping down is increased which leads to cord prolapse so with these uterine contractions because of some reason because of some factors no descent takes place no engagement occurs but the umbilical cord slips down at the lower uterine segment which as a result it leads to cord prolapse next is ecv that is external cephalic version which is done to correct the lie of the fetus that is abnormal lies as the transverse lie or the breech presentation which we try to change it or convert it into the normal presentation that is cephalic presentation and manual rotation of head manual rotation of head is basically done to correct the present pre presenting part of the head normally from the bro presentation or convert the bro presentation to the face or vertex with the help of hands so these procedures leads to cord prolapse so that's all about the causes of cord prolapse